Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm super excited for today's look because I'm going to be showing you guys how I do a Wonder Woman look. So if you want to see how I achieve this look, then just keep watching. So you already know that I primed my face with the Tatcha primer because this is just my favorite primer ever. It's almost like part of my skincare routine now. But I'm actually going to pop on this Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. This is actually the travel size because I'm trying it out for kicks and giggles. I'm just going to play this, this in my T-zone. I've used this a couple times before and it does an amazing job in keeping everything super matte because y'all already know I'm hella oily over here in Hawaii. So when I go to events, I definitely want to keep everything super matte. What? What am I even trying to say? Super matte and oiliness free. I like the glow, but I don't want to be like oily, greasy. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Then I go in with my foundation. This is my current fave right now. The 100% Pure Superfruits Healthy Foundation. I just like this stuff so much because of all the great ingredients. It has sun protection, antioxidants, vitamins galore. Just love it. I know that I'm doing my skin good by putting on something without the toxins because it's 100% natural and all that. And I just work this all over my skin, pouncing it in with, this is an Eco Tools, what is this? Eco Tools blending sponge. That's what it is. Just pouncing my life away. Then I'm going to go in with this Shea Moisture Concealer. Unfortunately, I don't know the shade, but that's just because the sticker came off. I'm going to paint some lines down the side of my nose, under my eyes, on my eyelids, because y'all already know, got some veiny lids, some right here, right down the bridge of my nose, just like so, the tip of my nose, Cupid's bow, we gotta hit that, and my chin. Boom. And I actually want to go in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Ginger just because I have some breakouts that I want to conceal. And I have a sunspot over there. And then I'm just going to pounce that. Just this like a bouncy ball. And then I'm just going to pounce that in to my skin. Well, I thought. I would film my look today because I'm actually on my way to an event for Storybook Entertainment because I'm going to be playing Wonder Woman. And if you don't know, it's just like a company in Hawaii where you can order characters and we have superheroes, princesses, Hello Kitty, Pikachu. We have a lot going on and we just show up and we just do our thing, you know? You get to meet your favorite character, or your favorite superhero, your idol, have them at your birthday parties. They sometimes go to the mall or the movie theaters, just depending on where we're wanted it's a super fun job actually but i thought i would film this look because it's about to be halloween and wonder woman is amazing i freaking love her she's such a badass and i thought why not maybe someone wants to dress up as wonder woman for halloween so here's a makeup toot for you okay and after that y'all already know the honest beauty translucent powder is this it's just a blurring loose powder I'm going to take a Morphe M438, get that all up in there on both sides, all around the brush, tap off some excess, and just place that under my eyes on the inner part of my cheek. Take a little bit more on the nose, and I always really pack it whenever I'm doing an event, I pack it super extra. Right where my smile lines happen to go because the whole time I'm just smiling and you don't want that to be creasing. So I really pack it on there. Whatever's left, I just dust where I put concealer. And don't forget the lids. Okay, then after that I'm going to go in with bronzer. The body bronzer by Physicians Formula. I'm going to take a M530 brush. Swirl that around in the product. Hit the sides of my nose. The tip of my nose just bronze my skin all over it might help if you don't have your baby hairs down <clears throat> hitting just the top 
Wonder Woman in the movie, she really doesn't look like she's wearing much. I'm just gonna lay down some products to make my face look natural but pretty, you know? Cause she's, she's natural but beautiful, she's gorgeous. That's our goal today, natural but gorgeous. So as you can see, bronze, the cheekbone, temples, top of my forehead. I sometimes I'll hit like right here, right under my bottom lip and under the jaw. So once you're all bronzy, I'm actually gonna contour a little bit with the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is in the shade Fair Medium. So I'm just gonna take the sculpt shade Dab this side of my brush just like that. I don't want to go in like this because this is actually a pretty round brush. And hit the cheekbones right here. Yes. Then come up here, contour a little bit up here. Also going to contour my nose a bit. Bring that up into the brows. To the heavens. Yeah, I just want to be chiseled a little bit, you know what I mean? And then sometimes I'll just swirl it on the back of my hand just like this and just go over it and blend that out even further. And then I'm going to hit it with some blush. This is Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush in that peach dough. I've just been obsessed with this blush lately. It's a nice little light wash of color using the same brush again. This is such a great blush brush, but I also like bronzing with it as well. Boom, a little bit on the, my nose, across the top. And then I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of highlight. I'm gonna use the highlight from this Bronze and Sculpt palette and using the side again, but like really like the side just like that because she doesn't necessarily have that much highlight on but i just want a little bit don't forget the bridge of the nose and just the tip sometimes i'll just go on with my finger it's so much easier cupid's bow i don't know why but the cupid's bow just it gives it to me beautiful Alright, I think we are done with the face. I'm gonna hit it with some face mist. This is my favorite face mist. It's actually a toner, but I use it as a face mist because same difference. Kind of. Once you've drenched yourself in that and moved your baby hairs out of the way, I let it dry for a little bit and then I take the beauty sponge and I just pounce lightly over everything to really make it sink into the skin making sure everything looks flawless we just want all of the powders to melt together and with the foundation and your skin what was i doing with my hand right there like am i holding an imaginary purse i feel like i do that a lot too in my videos i'll, I'll just be like my hand's just like here, holding my hand like this. And I'm just like, what are you doing? I'm actually going to go in with a little bit of something with this Alima Pure in the shade Cardamom. I want to just add a little bit right here because I have really annoying breakouts right there. I'm going to take the tippy. Just bounce it in there. And I just want to kind of bounce that over that part for some extra coverage and I'm hoping the yellowness of this pressed foundation can I speak? this pressed foundation helps to conceal it just a little bit more but it is what it is they're there they're living so they're just gonna stay there for a while moving on same Jaclyn Hill palette I'm telling you I bought this for this job like it just had all the all the colors that I wanted it's super easy it makes everything easy when it's all in one place where is my blending brush so I'm gonna take a color brush 
It's a little bit dirty, but that's okay. It's just your eyes. I'm going to... Hmm. I think I'm going to take my bronzer first, actually. Swirl that around. And just hit it lightly right there in the crease. And Wonder Woman really isn't wearing that much stuff on her face. Like, honestly, I don't even think she's really wearing anything on her eyes. But I want to lay something down just to add more depth to my eyes. Just to have a little something. So I'm actually going to connect that bronzer kind of over to my contour. So next, oh, okay. I'm going to go in with the shade Pooter right here. Just dab that in, and I'm gonna just place this right over top of the bronzer that we just laid down, just to add a little bit more depth. Then I'm gonna take the shade Silk Cream right here. I'm gonna just buff that over my eyelid, just to lighten things up. And I just want a wash of it, that's why. Super Natch, I never say that. Why did I just say that? Super Natural. <laughs> I'm going to use the shade Bean right there. The second from the left. Oh, yes. That's the type of highlight I needed. I'm just blending that further in with my other finger. That's all I'm going to do with the eyeshadows. I'm going to take this feline flick by Charlotte Tilbury. She has just a little wing. She doesn't have a big one, so I'll just start in the middle and bring it out just like that. I actually never wear winged eyeliner, like ever. I just don't like the way it looks on my eyes, but Wonder Woman is wearing some winged eyeliner, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, to finish off the eyes, I'm going to take an eyelash curler and curl my eyes. Curl my eyelashes, not my eyes. Oh well. And I'm actually going to go in with a lash primer today because I don't want to put on falsies. Since she seems like she's just wearing mascara and eyeliner. So I'm going to use this new Voluminous Lash Paradise base. It's a primer base and it looks... It's like a super, super light pink. But the brush is really nice. I'm just going to go in and coat my lashes with some primer so this is actually like the first time I'm using this primer base so we'll see how it holds up I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Total Temptations mascara in black I was reading a little bit about this base though and it was saying that it's supposed to help prep your lashes for mascara and make the mascara more long lasting which is great because when I'm working an event I want my makeup to last throughout the whole thing. It also says that it had rose oil in it to help condition the lashes. And that's always good. So my lashes look pretty good. I think I like that lash primer. It makes my lashes look a little bit thicker and this is more of like a lengthening mascara to me. I know it says that it volumizes and lengthens, but to me it mostly just lengthens. It doesn't add too much volume, but now with this primer I feel like it added a lot more. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. But I'm going to hit the lower lash line really quick. But then we can move on to lid. It doesn't look like she's wearing too much, honestly. Maybe like a lip gloss. So I'm going to line my lips with the Milani Easy Liner in the shade Most Natural. Alright, so the lips are lined and filled. We are going to go in with a gloss. Where is my glow? Shoot. I think it's in my purse. Beer bee. Oh my gosh. It was actually here on my desk the whole time. It was just hiding behind my drink. Anyways, I'm just gonna pop on some glass, coat the lips. This is the Julep Gloss in the shade Splendid. I really, really enjoy this gloss just because it's so uber hyping. It feels so good on my lips. I believe... That completes my Wonder Woman look. Super easy. You don't necessarily have to put lashes on. I just put on a mascara and I was good to go. There is a little bit of a wing. Took me a little second. But that's probably like the hardest thing to do. Oh, you, oh my gosh, you know what? I forgot to do my brows. Just got too excited. I'm going to take, again, the Fiona Styles. I know this is discontinued. 
I found out the other day. But whatever brow product works for you. Taking the same Sonia Kashuk number 27 brush. I don't think I'm going to use anything else other than this. Honestly, I just really like this brush for my brows. Her brows are actually like really dark and intense. Like they're deep colored. But I'm just going to go in and fill my brows. Wherever it's sparse, I find it easiest to shape my brow first and then fill it in. And again, with the front of the brow, I always flick up. I never flick to the side. I never go at it sideways. Don't come at me sideways. Once they're deep like that, I go in with any old spoolie. Wiggle and brush up, people. Wiggle and brush up. Brush that product up through your brow hairs. Just so that it's a little bit more blended into your, your brows. Now, that officially completes this whole Wonder Woman look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a safe Halloween. Remember that you are beautiful in every which way. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would truly appreciate that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Just the wash. Looks like that. This is a... Uh, <laughs> just pouncing that away. Pouncing my life away. Humid hits you. Hits you hard. And just do it. It doesn't even matter. Look at that.